All right, man, peace. So I've already done a part one on the allegations that the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Jameis Winston, groped a female Uber driver. It seems as if some additional information has been brought to the forefront. Of course, they're going to talk about it, and I'm going to chime in. Jameis Winston accused of sexually assaulting an Uber driver, but he claims, hey, you got the wrong black guy. Welcome to TMZ Sports. I've been here with Van and Michael J. Babcock. What's up? Uh, this is a serious situation here. Uh, yeah, this, this is definitely a serious situation. And you know, When you mingle a serious situation with an idiot, which is what Jameis Winston seems to be, this is definitely going to be something rough for him to get out of, especially if any type of evidence is brought forth to verify or validate this woman's claims. Uh, a woman who was an Uber driver in 2016 claims that she picked Jameis Winston up from the Scottsdale bar scene at 2 o'clock in the morning in March 2016. For That's already bad. Bad, bad, bad. All right. It's 2 a.m. And you're getting picked up from a bar scene in Scottsdale, Arizona. And you're Jameis Winston. Look, I've never been to Scottsdale, Arizona. But that doesn't strike me as a place where there's going to be a bevy of so-called black people there. All right. And once again, I've never been there, so I could be wrong. And whatever he prefers, that's his business. Um, it is what it is. All these broads are liberal, so they're all crazy anyway. It don't matter what color they are for the most part. So that's his business. But what I will say is this. Uh, he does seem to have a serious issue with his self-control, especially when you involve alcohol. And being a so-called black man in an area where I'm presuming is going to be vast majority Caucasian. If he does conduct himself in an untoward manner in public, it's going to be much more conspicuous being a six foot five uh, so-called black man who plays professional football. And first off, have any of you guys ever been to the Scottsdale bar scene? I have not. not. It can be crazy. A little wild, a little raunchy. It can be crazy. It's like a mini outdoor Vegas. It's like a strip where you walk and there's light, flashing lights and bars and oh, you get drunk and it's a fun time. Yeah, you like it? Fun. A woman said that she was called to pick up a person, right? The Uber, uh, the person that called her was Jameis Winston. When she got there, she picked up Jameis Winston, got in the car. He asked uh, to go to a Mexican restaurant to get some late night food around 2 o'clock in the morning. She said during the car ride to the Mexican restaurant, he was screaming at passerby's homophobic comments, which is the first problem. And then once they got to the drive through at the Mexican restaurant, when they stopped to order the food, he reached over, he grabbed her by the crotch for several seconds. She's Oh, I see Todd Gurley there. She says it wasn't an accident. It was very intentional. And then finally she looked up and said, hey, what's the deal? After he left the car, she said that she wrote a report to Uber saying I was sexually assaulted by Jameis Winston and claimed that she was um, very upset, bothered by it, but she didn't want to go to police because she was, a few, she was afraid of backlash from NFL fans who might not have believed her. Well, look, I'm going to let him continue in a moment. There's a series of problems there for Mr. Jameis Winston. For one, that account is way too detailed for it to be a figment of that female's imagination. For his sake, for his sake, I hope that, uh, that he didn't do it, number one, and that no form of incriminating evidence comes out that would make him appear to be culpable when he didn't do it, for his sake. But if you're, if you're going to ask me what I think... Um, I think that he was involved in some form of untoward activity with that woman or towards that woman. Because there's just way too many details. She's talking about how he's yelling, quote unquote, homophobic slurs out of the window. And then she then he put his hand on her thigh or in her crotch area. And, you know, there's just way too many details. And then she went and filed a report with Uber. So I can't even say that she's just jumping on the bandwagon, the Me Too bandwagon. If she already filed a report last year when it happened, it's obviously something that is legitimate in some way. And then she didn't follow a police report. So it would seem to validate what she said, what she is stating that she just wanted, you know, her, her employer, which is Uber or her business partner, which is Uber, to be aware of what occurred. But she did not want it to be too big of a deal. So it does not look good for Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston has now come out and said, this is ridiculous. This is not me. It is untrue. 
but he also claims that her story is a little messed up. That he was not alone in that Uber with her. There were other people. He was not sitting in the front passenger seat as she claimed. It was another person who was, another African American athlete. And he claims that she might be confusing her black people here, guys. Well, he gonna have to drop down on who that athlete was. I've already stated early in the video that he was at some function, at least the clip that they showed with Todd Gurley. I'm, I'm sure that it was not at the function in question. I'm sure that that's just some footage of Jameis that, that happens to be him and Todd Gurley there. But in order for him to clear his name, he is going to have to drop dime on that athlete. There's no doubt about that. This is a mess for Jameis Winston. Oh, it's a big time mess. I mean, the reality is that it seems as if, and I don't want to make any assumptions here, it seems as if whoever was in that car with the Uber driver might have been having some things to drink. And if Yeah, and I'm sure Jameis was having some things to drink also. That motherfucker was not out at 2 a.m. sober with his crazy ass. Running around eating. I mean, this is the same motherfucker that's eating W's sober. So, so can you imagine how he act when he's drunk? If you're going to believe an account of that night who was recollecting it uh, properly, you probably be inclined to believe the Uber yeah, It just seems silly to think. She obviously knows who Jameis Winston is. He's not denying being in the car, so she, she knows him. She recognizes yeah. him. Also, Jameis Winston isn't saying that a sexual assault didn't happen. Right. He's just saying, saying it's possible it happened. He's just saying, it's not me. Now, uh, the NFL is investigating this. They became aware of the situation after the story was published on BuzzFeed, and they opened an investigation. They have been contact with uber yeah i have heard a voice message that was left from uber to james winston in which they say we want to talk to you about a situation involving you or passengers in your car that occurred on this particular evening now uh, let me say this before he continues james winston is going to get suspended for six games i'm i'm very sure of that because the nfl right now in regards to sexual assault or anything that approaches sexual assault on women, the athlete is guilty until proven innocent. And with the preponderance of data that, you know, that is quite obvious right now, uh, information that goes back to the time that the event occurred, I don't see how Jameis Winston is going to be able to provide any form of an alibi unless he drops dime on that athlete who was sitting next to the woman and the athlete corroborates his story. And if that athlete is also in the NFL, um, is the athlete going to be willing to tell on himself? This is the problem when you decide to hang out at that time of the night, drunk, um, and you don't have a personal driver. <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand. I've already stated this in part one. You're Jameis Winston, man. Hire a fucking driver. Like, it's not that big a deal, man. That speaks to Jameis's point where he says I wasn't alone the way. Car. If he can prove that there was more than one person in the car, right. he might have some sort of a case. But he's the most yeah. famous guy in the car. And I just, you know, if she knows right. who he is, she knows who he is. The woman told BuzzFeed that Jameis was alone in the car. So if you start opening up discrepancies, right, like yeah. the amount of people in the weird. car and who was in the car, it starts poking holes in the story. I agree with that. The thing is, again, in Jameis's message that he put up, he's not he's not calling her a liar as far as her being sexually assaulted. He's just saying accusing me is wrong. The, yeah. the other the other issue for Jameis Winston here is this isn't the first time he's been accused of sexual assault. Right, when he right. was at Florida State, he was accused of raping a student after a night at the bars. Now, of course, there was all. Mm. I didn't even I did not even remember that. Yes, that occurred after a night at the bars. Look. Once again, it's very apparent to me that Jameis Winston has an issue with alcohol. He also has an issue with discipline. Um, and when you combine those two things together, he, he's going to put himself in a situation that he's not going to be able to get out of. Uh, he seems like a guy who aspires to be something, but I'm not sure if he has the stuff that it takes to be what he aspires to be. Because the main thing that you have to have to, to be what you want to be is discipline, and he does not have that. At least not in regards to his... To uh, his exploits outside of the football field, and even on the football field, he he shows a lack of discipline in his, in his decision making, his discernment. So, this going this is going to be some for him because the NFL has already showed with Ezekiel Elliott, they don't they don't really need to have any concrete evidence that you did what the woman is what the woman is accusing you of doing. All they have to do is feel like you did some dumbass shit. They basically can give you six games just for being a jackass. All sorts of police bungledness. I don't even know the right word. They completely botched the investigation of that case. They tried to yeah. cover it up, it appeared, mm -hmm. and then they didn't investigate things in a timely manner. And
Well, Jameis Winston was an asset of Florida State. Um, they were not going to stop him from winning them a national championship because of the story of some little college thought. That just was not going to happen. Um, you know. But in light of what he's being accused of now, look, man, there's just too many red flags with this guy. I'm not saying that he raped abroad. Who knows? Uh, I mean, when, when, when you involve a nut job like Jameis with a lot of these females who are dealing with delusional issues and entitlement issues and will say anything or, or cry rape for anything, who knows? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I seriously hope that he was not involved in the sexual adulteration of that female. But when you add this in, you know, in concert with that and some of his other problems, decision making issues, it wouldn't shock me anymore. And eventually the case was so tarnished by bad police work that uh, James was uh, It wasn't bad police work. It was, it was purposefully fucked up because they needed him to get off so that he could win them a national championship. This wasn't charged with a crime, but there was really no proof that a crime didn't really exist either. That was a whole mess. And that, that was a mess. It was also a situation where, if I recall, it was Jameis and some friends kind of that, that were involved right. in that situation. So Yeah, it was a Tupac kind of situation there. If I remember correctly, as uh, as Van Lathan stated. So, in that case, it's not going to do him any favors. But I tell you what, that's another issue too, man. Dudes got to stop that shit, bringing broads uh, around they crew and all this other silly shit, man. And then you involve an alcohol. Tupac got in trouble with that. Jameis Winston got in trouble with that. And if you remember, Colin Kaepernick almost got in trouble with that with uh, t with uh, Tiana Taylor. You know. Stop bringing these bras around your, your dudes, man. That, that shit is off anyway. Fuck all you want all that random rod around, around the chick for. It's bad enough these bras can't keep their legs closed. You, you're giving them easy access to, to random rod. Like, you know, stop bringing confusion into your own fucking life. If in any way this can be proven that James Winston did in fact do these things, so it might be game over for James Winston. That's right. Oh, no, there's no doubt. If it's proven that he did this shit, it's a wrap for him. They're going to suspend him for six games this year. And then next year, Tampa Bay is going to find a way out of his contract. And he already is on the level now where, to me, he's walking a tightrope. I've already stated next year is going to be a referendum on Jameis Winston. But if, if you throw this in there and he's found to have groped abroad with his track record, oh, man. But anyway. All right. So now the CBS Morning News also reported on the Jameis Winston incident. Let's see what else they have to say. The allegations of sexual assault, which are rocking the political and entertainment worlds, are working their way into professional sports. Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Jameis Winston is denying allegations that he groped a female Uber driver last year. The NFL and the Buccaneers are investigating the claim. Roxana Saberi is here with more. Roxana, good morning. Good morning. The Uber driver said the incident happened in March 2016 after she picked Winston up in Scottsdale, Arizona. The driver, known only as Kate, told Bug BuzzFeed News that Winston grabbed her crotch without her consent. That's off. Winston, <laughs> James' dumbass was probably in, in the car talking about, hey, you want to see if I can go deep? <laughs> says when she picked Winston up around 2 a.m. on March 13, 2016, he was the only passenger and sat in the front. Right away, Winston behaved poorly, Kate says, shouting in part homophobic slurs at pedestrians. Uh, look, I, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, Jameis' stupid ass probably got in there, look it up, and just start yelling, at the win yelling out the window. You know, he probably saw somebody he knew or something like that, but, you know, he's just out there. Winston then asked to stop for food, and as they waited in line at a drive through Kate says he reached over and just grabbed my crotch. Winston removed his hand only after she looked up in shock and said, what's up with that? Winston released a statement calling the story false. Look, Jameis clearly has issues in regards to uh, discernment. Like I've stated already, I saw him in a photo a long time ago, a while ago when he first got drafted. Uh with that female that chick that's with orlando scandrick uh dryer michelle whatever her name is a little two dollar hole that runs around on these rally shows i can't remember the one who looked like a bird anyway he was looking at her holding it holding the car door for her and he was trying to hit that like you know james is all out there he's he got to get his shit together 
I believe the driver was confused as to the number of passengers in the car and who is sitting next to her, he said. I am supportive of the national movement to raise awareness and develop better responses to the concerns of parties in these types of situations. But this accusation is false. The alleged incident came just nine months before Winston and a woman who accused him of rape settled the civil lawsuit she brought against him. The woman, Erica Kinsman, said Winston raped her when they were both students at Florida State University in 2012. He was on top of me and, and I couldn't really breathe that much. But And let me say this also. When you involve alcohol with random females like this, and first off, the female is drunk and then you're drunk, not only can you not remember how the situation transpired, but neither can she. And these females are already dealing with alternate realities and delusional issues and psychological uh, issues due to this society and how these women are raised. So they're already waiting for an opportunity to accuse you of something because, you know, now they've snapped into another reality and another alternate reality and they're not sure what happened. They're not sure why they're in your uh, abode or, you know, your home or your apartment or whatever because they were so falling down drunk and you're just so thirsty for some ass. You waking up, you don't even know how the broad got there. You can't even remember busting a nut with the broad. You don't know how it happened. And next thing you know, she's just assuming that she got raped because she's looking over at you and saying to herself, I would never willfully sleep with a guy who looks like this. So, you know, these are the type of problems that occur when you involve alcohol with random broads, man. Very dangerous combination. But I was, I was saying, please stop, stop. Winston said the sex was consensual and he was not charged. And the winner is Jameis Winston, Florida State University. The FSU quarterback went on to win the Heisman Trophy in 2013. The athlete also made headlines in 2014 when he was caught on surveillance video stealing crab's legs from a supermarket. Yeah, but you know what? That was just a hookup. He just got a hookup from some dude at, at, the, at the supermarket. But he's just dumb. Like, Jameis is just out there, you know. Everybody grew up with dudes like that, you know. You hear about something happening to, you know, some dude from that you know that everybody know who just, who just attracts dumb shit. As for the 2016 Uber allegations, the NFL has moved quickly to investigate, and the Buccaneers say they are taking the matter seriously. Oh, they have to take the matter seriously, because right now if they don't take the matter seriously. These women's groups will be outside of uh, Tampa Bay Stadium with a whole bunch of signs. And Jameis' dumbass will be on the sign, looking stupid. They'll probably have him eating a damn W. You know. Winston's Uber account was suspended after the alleged 2016 incident. The driver, Kate, did not want to be identified. And she says she did not file a police report because she didn't want to be publicly known as the woman who Jameis Winston wrote. Well, look, let me say this. I'm, uh, I'm prone to believe her because she did file a report with Uber. Had she not filed a report with Uber, I would say, you know what, this could just be another broad trying to jump on the Me Too bandwagon. Now, all of a sudden, you know, she knows that Jameis Winston has a history of making bad decisions, especially bad decisions with women, and she wants to jump on the bandwagon, uh, maybe get her a little settlement or something like that. But nah, nah. She's already put in her due diligence. She filed a report. And at the end of the day, you're Jameis Winston. You're not supposed to be getting involved in that situation. He claims that it was somebody else sitting next to her. For his sake, for his sake, I hope that he's not lying. Because if she's able to, if she's able to produce a video and it ends up that he was sitting there next to her and he put his hands on her or something uh, along those lines, he's done. In the NFL, he's done. Because like I stated already, his teammates are already losing respect for him. When I saw him do that bullshit with <laughs> eating a W, they were looking at him like, what is wrong with this motherfucker? You know, so he if this comes out and he was found to have groped a woman in the Uber car and his story was totally false. Nah, he's not going to be able to live this one down. He's going to be done in the NFL. Roxana Saberi, the stories just keep coming forward. They do. Thanks for that. Yeah, now all they got now all they need to do is start talking about all these freaky ass women who go on, who go into corporate America and be grabbing men's asses and grabbing men's dicks and talking about how come you don't want to take me out on a date and all this other shit. All right. Let's talk about that because they, they only want to talk about the side with these horny ass men. Talk about these horny ass women, hot and they, hot and they coochie coming to work every day with their titties out and, and with skin tight pants on trying to see who they can get attention from.
sending <laughs> sending messages and shit talking about when you're going to happy hour. Please. The hell you want to know why <laughs> why somebody want to go to happy hour for? So you can get plowed out in the bathroom with your nasty freak ass. So that's what they need to be talking about. But anyway, uh, for Jameis Winston's sake, I hope that that this is not a, a real story. But I, I, that's just too much evidence, man. Peace.